Uri, KTN News. Now, for many people, the mention of HIV amounts to a death sentence. Yet to some, HIV and AIDS is just a condition that can be managed. That is the story of Thomas Water, who, after his wife walked out on him, met and fell in love with another woman who was living with a HIV virus. Although Thomas was HIV negative at the time, he says that his love for Margaret Lavonga was stronger than the stigma that comes with the condition. For 15 years, Thomas and Margaret have lived happily together. Katie and Shadrach Niti with a tear-jacking story of the two. Cake, cutting and raising of glasses for toss. Usually associated with celebrations of landmark events like birthdays and weddings. But it is a different story for Margaret Lavonga and Thomas Uwoto. They invited their family and friends to celebrate something different. Their story. This is a beautiful cake. Theirs is a story of love that practically knows no bounds. They have been together for 15 years, and they have been living with HIV and AIDS. But that is just where the story begins. Siku ya leo na thibitisha, miaka ishirini tangu nianze kumeza dawa za ARVs. Personally, niko na virusi, nimeishi na virusi, nimepitia changamoto mingi sana na virusi. Lakini kama siya marafiki zangu na jamii, singe kwa nimefika maali nimefika. 20 years ago, Margaret was expecting her third child. And persistent health complications forced her to seek thorough medical examinations. Kila wakati nilikuwa naenda kliniki, kilo zangu zilikuwa zinaenda chini. So, daktari wakanza kushuku hii, shida ni nini. Juni kianza kliniki nilikuwa ite kilograms. Nikirudi the following months nilikuwa nime shed off 5 kg. Wakashindu wa nini naendelea. So, wakanituma, niende kupimwa. The doctor's report showed that she was HIV positive. She says she was shocked by the stigma that followed the diagnosis. Yule nurse aliniudumia sita sema ni mahali gani. Aliva gloves mingi, akava mpaka mask. Ikonekana ya kwamba ni kama ni kona ebola or something contagious. Nikashuka lipo nita ndani ni kona mevalia hivo. Haka nipa results zangu, haka ni, simamia huko, haka nipa results, haka niambe, we mama, ujue wewe na hiyo mimbu umebeba, munaenda kukufa. So ni kamuza, tunenda kufa kwa ni, au kusikia ni kikwambia zikio la inibili hivi, utakufa. And that marked the beginning of a new chapter in her life. Stigma, pain and rejection have been the hallmark of her journey for the past 20 years. She has been using antiretroviral drugs all that time to manage her condition. And she had lost all hope of ever finding love again. Nilikuwa nzishwa ya RVs, nilikuwa nikona TB, nilikuwa nikona fungal infections, nilikuwa na magonjwa mengi sana. Nikawa bedridden for two years. Nika, nikaja nikaamuka. Lakini motisha ilikuwa inanipa ni, ni zidi kuishi ni kwamba sitaki watoto wangu wabaki kama hawana mtu wakuatunza. Kwa sababu baba yao wamepotea, kila mtu anitaki, familia wanitaki, lakini hawa watoto watabaki na nani. Kisha ni kanza kugain nguvu. Zile dawa zikanza kunipa nguvu. ARVs are so good. As long as you take them, kulingana na venye daktari ya mekuambi uzimeze. Zikanza kunipa nguvu na nikarudi kuwa normal as anybody else. But that was before she met Thomas, to whom she disclosed her HIV status right away. Thomas was HIV negative, and to her disbelief, the information did not move him. He vowed to love her unconditionally. Kuna mtu aliona mrembo mahali. <laughs> na kani, kanifinyia macho, na mini kamambia taka unanifinyia macho, mini mebeba AK-47 kwa mwili. Haka nuza hiyo ni nini, nikambia ni kwa na virusi, haka niambia ijalishi, nita kupenda jinsi ulivyo. Na akaja, haka nioa, and we are living peacefully. Sa urembo wake li, 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 li nivutia. Sa kuniambia kwa hivi na hivi, nikawana hiyo pijaka wei eta nizuia, tapia... Both have been living with the virus for the last 15 years since they got married. Thomas says he saw beyond his wife's medical condition and his family has been supportive. Tunaona kuna familia yake anafanya kazi na hata ule mke wake wa kwanza alimwachia watoto ako nao saini wakubwa kuna wajukuu eh yeah. hata nikiona huu simeji yangu na furai sana Margaret works as a community mobilizer and educator counseling people on issues to do with HIV and AIDS
Having walked the journey herself, she reports that things have changed slightly and more needs to be done to tackle stigma. Mutaani pale nilikuwa naishi, nguo zangu zilikuwa zinatolewa na majirani, watoto wangu shuleni wakapewa stigma ya kutosha, hati kabidi ni waondoe pale shuleni ni wapeleke boarding school. Kwa sababu, hawange kubaliwa, walikuwa naona wanavirusi kama mimi. Yet my babies are negative. So, iyo stigma ilikuwa kubwa sana. Na up to now, it's 20 years down the line, still there is stigma. Na iyo stigma imekua juu. As much as watu wako informed, bado wanapea wengine stigma. Na iyo ni changamoto sana kwa sisi ambao tuko na virusi. Mutu ambaye hako na virusi, hafai kupewa stigma. Na sitaki uniurumie. Kitu nataka, just give me a moral support. Unionyesha kwanza kwamba I'm still a human being like you and I can do anything any other human being can do. Kasikia vijana nangino wanaongea pale kando. Hati virusi ziliku jana meli, mtole watu ligawana zikeisha. Hasa hakuna virusi. Mutaka nuambia virusi ziko. Iko. It is, it is real. Sasa kwa wale wamesha adhirika, tawambia tu hao pia wajadhari na na vitendo vya kudabo cross. For Margaret and her husband Thomas, people living with HIV must never allow opinions of others to define and confine them. HIV is a disease. It's a disease. And if you have a disease, you have a disease, and you have a disease, and you have a disease. And if you have a disease, you have a disease, and you have a disease, and you have a disease. Personally, I went back to school. Nikasoma nikitaka kujua haswa hii kitu inanikula ni nini. Na hiyo masomo imeni benefit saa hii nafanya kazi. She is a very jovial lady. She's a good colleague to to colleagues and even to clients there at work. Yeah, so wakati mwingine hata nikiwa na changamoto maybe ku handle client, huenda client mwingine ni ni mgumu hataki kutikia hali yake. Nachukua hiyo nafasi ya kumuita kwa sababu yeye hana uoga wote wa kuongelesha client kumuelezea kwa nini nimemuita ama kwa nini anaambiwa afanye kitu fulani. So yeye pia anakuwa ana hapo kama motivation kwa wale clients wengine ambao ni wahali moja kama yeye. Hii inafaa iwe kama witness kwa wengine wenye magia amejitolea hapa. Iwe witness kwa wengine ati unaweza maisha mengi, maisha marefu. Uone watoto wako tujukuu hata unaweza kufikisha mia. Mia moja, 100 years unaweza kufikisha. Tusiogope. Ikiwa umepata ni kama ajali. Mm. Juu hata mimi nimeanguka na gari mara saba lakini sijaye kufa. Eh? Sasa hata ugonjwa tuna eh, kulingana mafunzo ile niko nayo kidogo tunaambiwa ukitumia hii dawa bila, ku, bila kuangalia wapi ndio wapi utaishi maisha labda Mungu ndiye akuchukue kwa wakati yake lakini si ati ukimwi kuwe and as they take their love story towards the 16th year the advice is for Kenyans to look at HIV and AIDS simply as a medical condition that should not curtail their dreams and ambitions